In the previous video, we saw how we could create drop down menus using the new drop down ships. In this video, we're going to get a little bit more advanced and create multiple drop down lists using dependent drop downs. We're going to do this in a couple of ways. The first way is the good old traditional method, which you might have seen in a few other places using either query or index or filter or indirect. Your choice, but in this one, we're going to use query. And then the second way is my personal favorite because it allows us to use searchable drop downs and can be applied to an infinite number of drop down lists. So going across and down, which is much more flexible. So let's jump straight in. We're going to start off with two drop down lists, a dependency of two, and then we're going to get into multiple. So three, maybe even four. Let's get into it. So we've got here the spreadsheet. We see we have city and country. Uh, we have a whole bunch of countries here, a whole bunch of cities, a total of 33. Uh, I'm just going to make sure that I have those uh, frozen at the top so that if we scroll down, we don't lose those bits of information. So just like we saw in the last video, we're going to start with a drop down list in our country line. So in B2, let's start off with app drop down, press tab and that opens up the drop down sidebar. I'm going to click on that and click drop down from a range. Now, which range are we after? Well, we're after this list of countries here. So we're going to go F2 and I'm going to take that all the way down to F. F2 to F. So make sure you've got the entire thing because that allows you to add extras down below. Click on uh, done or whatever that said. And then uh, we have here our full list. So now that we have all of these, we want to be able to extract the city from the chosen country. So let's say that we choose, I don't know, um, South Africa. We want to be able to choose only cities from South Africa. Let's just enlarge that so we can see the full uh, range. So the way to do this is to create a separate list where we're going to make a dependency based on the country. So over in column I, let's just remove the data validation. I'm going to create a third list, which we're going to now reference. So if we use equals query, I like to use query. It's my go-to um, function these days. What data do we want? We want all of this stuff. So I'm just going to click, uh, select those ones there, F2 to G5, and then press backspace. That selects all of F2 all the way down to G, to the bottom of the spreadsheet. And then it's asking, what is the query? Well, the query is a SQL based language. It's um, a dialect based on Google Sheets asking you, what do you want to select? Well, I'm going to select, uh, in this case, it's going to be this column here, G, where F, this column here, equals, in this case, South Africa. So we write it out like that. It's almost uh, plain English and then press enter. And we can see here, these are the South African towns or cities that we've included in this list. You can see that works, but now if we uh, change this to Egypt, for example, it doesn't change these. So uh, what we'll do is back into this query here where it says South Africa. Let's just highlight that because we're going to delete it and replace it with a uh, reference. So to do that, let's just do double quotation marks then two ampersands and another double quotation mark. And then in between the ampersands, we're going to click on B2 or just write B2. So that's saying select column G, that's this column here, the cities, where F, that's the countries, is equal to whatever is in B2. Press enter on that and it gives us Johannesburg, uh, Cape Town and Durban. If we click on the drop down menu and change this, let's say uh, Russia, we get Moscow, St. Petersburg and that, yeah, yeah, Yekaterinburg, that one. So we can just go through and select different countries and it gives us the different cities. Let's go back to South Africa for a moment. Um, so this is our drop down list one. Okay, so now in city C2 here, this is where we're going to add our second drop down. So let's again write in drop downs. And then the criteria again is drop down from a range, but this time our range will be column I. Again, I like to use the whole column because it's not going to be anything below column I. So let's say that we click on this and we, we can see the uh, Johannesburg, uh, Cape Town and Durban. Let's click on Durban and we're good to go. Let's just change this up. Let's go to Australia. We see we get the red thing saying, hey, there's no Durban in Australia, not in this list anyway. And we can see the, uh, the drop down has changed to Sydney, Melbourne and Brisbane. If we add in the bottom, let's go Australia. 
oh, that's not how you spell Australia. Let's try that again. Uh, and we go with Perth. Now up the top, we've got Australia here. If we click on this, we now get Perth right there. So easy way to do two drop downs. Now we get into a little bit more advanced where we want to do three drop downs. So in this case, we now have a continent, a country and a city. Let's just add those in. So now we want a drop down list based on the continent. So now we need another one of these drop down lists. So I'm going to pop this over here, uh, make that drop down list two because drop down list one is going to be our list of countries within the selected continent. I'm also going to just delete all of this data over here and back in the continent column, let's do at drop downs. And again, drop down from a range, select the range. In this case, it's going to be E2 down to E. Press OK. And there we have all of our continents or I guess regions. I'm not really sure what we want to call it. OK, so let's say that we choose Asia. Our drop down list one is going to be just like it was before equals query. The data is select this data set. I just do the top ones because then I can backspace and that selects everything. And the query, we're going to select column F because that's our countries where column E equals whatever is in A2. In this case, it's going to be Asia. So I'm just going to put it in as Asia for now, just as a um, as a stand in or a um, placeholder. Press enter and we see we get all of the Asian one Asian countries that are in this list. Now, again, just like before this Asia here, we don't want that to be set. We want to be able to reference that. So let's change it to a double quotation mark, two ampersands and a double quotation mark. Now the uh, selected continent was over in A2. So we type in there A2, press enter. And again, we still see all of the Asian uh, drop down lists because we do have Asia written in here. If we select Oceania, we get Australia and Aotearoa New Zealand. So this is now our new drop down list for our country. So if we click on con country here, go right down the bottom, we can see the edit button. Let's click on that and then scroll across here instead of um, the drop down being F2 to F, which was our original countries here. We now want it to be I2 to I because that's our new drop down list that changes whenever we set we whenever we select the continent. So it's I2 to I and we can see that we have Australia, New Zealand there. Um, and I think we should be good. So now when we change Oceania to Europe, these change to Germany and Germany should be in here. If we change that to Africa, we have Egypt and South Africa and we have Egypt and South Africa. Let's say that we select Egypt and then this drop down list way over here, Cairo, Alexandria and Luxor, all Egyptian cities that we can now select for our city. We can see that this is the wrong um, the wrong column that's been selected. So we go down to the edit button and just keep in mind that we want column J because that's our cities that are in Egypt. So we click on that and instead of I2 to I, we change that to J2 to J. Click off it and we can see Cairo, Alexandria, Alexandria and Luxor. Okay, so now we click on the city and we can see those three. Alexandria, let's just open that up a little bit and we are good to go. If we change this to South Africa, then we get the South African cities. Now the downside to this is we can only have one row because if we want a second row here, then we'd need to create a new drop down dependency list for the second row. And that's the real downside to this is we can just have one. So we're going to repeat this process, but we're going to see how we can do this using multiple rows. And it also gives us the options to do infinite number of columns. But before we do that, make sure you head on down and let me know if this has been helpful by hitting a like or a dislike, or of course, leaving a comment about how you, how you think this could be useful in your case. Now over in F2, we're going to write a little formula that's going to create or allow us to select any continent country city combination. So our um, formula starting with equals will be text join. 
Now the delimiter, you can choose what you want. Just don't make it a, um, a letter that or a character that uh, is repeated often. You could use a pipe that's just above or just below your backspace button. I'm actually going to use an arrow, which I do by holding Alt and then 2, 6 on the keypad and then close quotation marks. So that's the delimiter. That's what what uh, character is in between the words that we're going to put together. Do we want to ignore empty? Yes, we do. You could write true. You could even write one. And then which text do we want? We're going to select CDE. Press enter. And then it says, do you want to autofill? Yes, we do, because we want that full list. Now this is uh, we're going to give it a title of combination. You can give it whatever title you want. But now in our drop downs, we're going to write at drop downs. And then what are we actually going to drop down? In this case, we're going to select the data range. The data range is going to be F2 to F. F2 to F, just like that. Click on OK. And that gives us our full list of combinations. Let's just close all that down and see what we've got. We need to open this up and let's call it uh, a place. Now, if we click on this drop down menu, we can see every single option. If we want Tokyo, there it is. And the cool thing about this is if we just go back to the editor, where do we want to apply it? I want to apply it to A2 all the way down to A10. Click on done. And now each one of these, we can use the same drop down menu for multiple drop down lists. How cool is that? But it gets even better. So we can do all that. That's pretty awesome. But let's say we don't want to do all that scrolling. Let's say that we just want to know, we, we just want to see the Asian countries. There's all the Asian countries. Let's say we want just the Oceania countries. There they are. We can just type it in. Um, we don't even need to type in the full name. Let's say that we want to find Perth. There it is. We can just type in Perth and it gives us straight Australia Perth. Now, why does it stay Australia Perth? Ah, because we don't have Oceania there fixed. So now if we look here, we've got the red uh, thingy and Perth is right up top. So now we can use searchable drop downs in here. And um, as I said before, it's not the prettiest, but it works really well because we can just like if we had a full list of countries, I don't recommend it though, because I just did it before to test this out. And there was uh, 49,000 different cities and it just broke my spreadsheet. So don't try a full list of every single city you can think of. It's not good. But if you wanted to, you can make this list longer and, and it doesn't matter how long because you can just say, hey, I want Cairo. There it is. It's, it's literally that easy. Press enter. Maybe you don't know what city you want, but maybe you know that uh, you want to go somewhere in Eurasia. There we go. We've got all of the Russian cities. Let's say you want somewhere in New Zealand. Well, how about we spell it right? New Zealand. We have all of the New Zealand um, cities there. Or at least all of the New Zealand cities within this list. So super awesome, super quick, really easy. And there's one more thing because we can now split these into the three different um, continent, country, and cities. So let's just add a few more rows here. We don't need this information anymore. So let's say that we've now selected this information. We'll choose continent, country, and city. And all we're going to do is split this data. So we start with equals split. What are we going to be splitting? A2. What's our delimiter? The arrow. Split by each? No. Press enter and we get Asia, Japan, Tokyo, which is what we see in the drop down list. If we then make this an array formula, so A2 to A, let's start off with an if A2 to A equals blank, then return nothing. Otherwise split A2 to A, hold control shift and then enter to give us that array formula and press enter. So as long as there is something in here, we will get the continent, the country and the city. So if we go down to A9 here, we can click on that and we can choose whatever we want. Actually, let's take a look at that uh, searchable drop down list again. Uh, I'm just going to go with uh, somewhere in Germany. Let's go uh, Berlin. 
and it gives us Europe, Germany, Berlin. It is that easy, that simple. That is the uh, personally my favorite multiple drop-down lists for many reasons, mainly because, well, firstly, it's searchable, and secondly, you can do it for every single row, which is an advantage over this filter query indirect um, method. But we're not done yet because we can go even further with this. As I said before, we can uh, make this even better by saying, well, we've got continent, country, city there, but we can go even further and say north or south hemisphere. And then we can go through, fill these in. Uh, most, of, most of them are probably in the north. So now that we've got those filled in, we can go scroll across to our formula here. And we can say, instead of text joining G2 to I2, we could do F2 to I2. And that gives us our full list of uh, which hemisphere, which continent, which country, and which city. You can see we get red arrows all the way along here because we do need to add in the uh, right information. Just push these across a little bit. Oops. Just push these across one and let's give us a gap in between the data set. Ooh, what just happened there? Uh, give us a gap between the data set and the um, output. North or South Hemisphere. And we're good to go. So again, let's say that we just want the Southern Hemisphere. We can just type typing South and it gives us the Southern Hemisphere ones. So we can search it, hit it, and we get the full list of information. Super powerful, super useful, very quick and easy compared to uh, the other method. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments how this is going to help you out. And I will see you in the next video.